I'm from La Paz, uh, an Andean beautiful city in Los Andes, and my city is surrounded by many glaciers. But since some years ago, my glaciers, our glaciers, are melting because of climate change impacts. And we are really very afraid. Scientists have said to us that those melting would last around 50 years, but it is running faster than expected. And we are really worried because it will affect our access to water, not only for cities, but also for the indigenous communities that live surrounding the, the, the glaciers. And those communities provide us our food, our potatoes, our vegetables, and they live also depending on the environment that is provided by those glaciers. And the glaciers in my country not only provide water, they also provide a kind of cultural identity. The coat of arms of my department, La Paz, in Bolivia, has in the heart the biggest glacier called Ilmani. So if we lose our glaciers, we are going also to lose our identity, our souls. And it has to do a lot also with memories. Scientists say that the glaciers, as big as are they, they also keep in their structure the memory of the weather history in the world. You can have from them data from thousands and thousands and of years of weather, uh, of the history of weather in the world. We are losing our memory. And that was the same that indigenous people said to us. We are losing the memory. And climate change is affecting very dramatically to water resources. The International Panel, Panel on Climate Change has all, uh, they have already warned us that we are getting into a very unknown scenario where nothing is going to be um, prepared for that. And we are going to, to suffer the scarcity of water because of droughts because also of the strong events of uh, hard rains destroys the um, infrastructure that we have, as we happened, as it happened last month in Bolivia. In Bolivia last month in La Paz, almost 6,500 uh, 5, uh, people lost their homes in La Paz because of rains. And also, these droughts the, these, uh, these rains have affected the infrastructure of water provision and 100,000 people are suffering now the lack of water in La Paz, probably for four months or five months. So those impacts are really important and are affecting the lives of peoples in the world. We urge the developed countries to be responsible of, with what they have done to the world. Mahatma Gandhi used to say that there is everything in this world that can uh, satisfy the needs of everybody, but not everybody's greed. So living well is a concept that has been growing in our country, trying to reflect, trying to say to the world that we have to recover the balance with Mother Earth. We have to recover the balance, uh, trying to, to be uh, more fear uh, to put in appliance equity and justice. That's what we are demanding developed countries to stop this destruction of the world because technique, money will not give us a new world.